All right, man, so I'm back with another build today. And today I got a 6'7 point guard. And I ain't gonna lie, y'all, I've been moving on this nigga. There's really only one thing about this build that I re regret putting up so high, but you'll see that later in the video. First, I wanna show, show y'all some clips of me just absolutely cooking. Then, of course, I'm gonna show y'all the build, the stats, all, all that good stuff. Then, a cool little gameplay. And then, more towards the end of the video, I'll sh show y'all my animations, my jump shot, all that stuff, and my batter. So, yeah, man, let's get to it. Oh, by the way, my 93 strength shooting guard video is going absolutely crazy. So I appreciate y'all boys. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe, man. Welcome. And yeah, man, let's finally get to the video. Now, one thing about this build I did not expect was how quick he would be with the ball. Oh, my God. Easy little crap into the cross. Easy little pull up, man. This build gets, gets, gets a 95 mini, man. I'm going to be taking the middies. And the pass on this build is so tough. Oh, my God. Spin move into to the layup. No, no, no. I want to hit corner. That fucking pass is so sexy. Now, this right here, bro, I really made something out of, no, out of nothing, man. I'm in the corner one-on-one. -on -one. Y'all already know that's a bucket, man. Between the legs, cross, cross. Uh, excuse me. Oh, my God. Too fucking nasty scoop layup. Now, one thing about me, I love throwing unnecessary ass passes. Oh, my God. The flashy pass. Very not needed, but I don't care. That shit was tough as hell. Now, as you can see, looking at this clip, I'm starting to get way more comfortable with the dribble. I ain't going to lie. In and out is too fucking tough. 95 minutes, so that's a pull-up automatically. You remember how last video I said the pro spin shot, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Well, it definitely is not broke this year. Oh, my God. Who the fuck are you guarding? That's a bucket. Now, next clip, I'm in the corner with it. I don't know why the fuck he's jumping. I'm going to just go right to the paint. Easy lay. The mid-range will always stay undefeated, bro. I'm not going to lie. And that right there looks like the thumbnail. Anyways, easy pull up. That's a bucket. Now, let's get to the actual build. All right, man. So, you're going to go point guard, 6'7", 184 pounds, 6 foot 9 wingspan. Now, I went 6'7", because I'm not the biggest fan of these small 6'3 guards, even, even even if they are meta. I don't really like meta. It's kind, kind of boring. Don't mind me cook, cooking up in the back. Here's a fin finishing. Now, the one thing about this build that surprised me was how good an 80 driving layup would be. I kind of put it there because I'm like, eh, just in case. I'm, I'm, I'm like getting boxed or some shit, just rim run. But, no, nah, bro. Like, at times, I kind of just purposely drive to the rim because I ain't going to lie, bro. Austin Reeves layup package is easily one of the best in the game for taller guards to me. Now, if you're a smaller guard, I would not re recommend this because I heard that scoop layups got patched. Now, is that true? From my experience, not really because, I mean, damn near every layup with this layup package is scoop layup. So, pretty much, Austin Reeves layup package, one of the best in the game for a 6'7 guard. Now, the finisher really isn't even that bad. I'm not going, go, going to lie. So, let's get to the shooting. Yeah, man, I did it. I went with, with a 95 midi, and yes, it is as crazy as you think it is. I am making some bullshit-ass pull-ups on people because 90, 95 midi gets you Hall, Hall, Hall of Fame Deadeye, and y'all got to remember, I got that plus one badge, so that's legend Deadeye. Oh, my God, I am shooting over those. No one's going to stop me, bro. As you see right there, easy pull-up. I'm really going crazy now. 77-73. I'm going to be honest. I, I personally think this year... I really think this year going to be like 2K21, 2K22 again, where you can shoot with a, a 65-3. I'm not going to lie. I saw someone on uh, Twitter shooting with like a 64-3. I think it was Hollywood. So I kind of want, want to like test those limits for this year. But anyways, 91 free throw because I play rec. I hate seeing guards who can't shoot free throws. I don't understand why you would do that. But yeah, that, that definitely might, might be a, a build in the future, man. Like a 65 to 63. Because I really think this year feels like that type of year where you can shoot with that low of a three. Once you get, once you get the shooting down, bro, like you're like you're not gonna be able to miss a, a shot. Now the playmaker on this build is pretty basic. I'm not gonna, gonna lie. A 90 ball handle is pretty high. It's max for a 6'7. 75 speed with ball gets get you that silver lightning launch with the plus one. You you could go gold, but I like I said, I went with legend uh De dead eye. Now 85 pass accuracy, I'm glad that they lowered the, the requirement for bronze bailout. But I kind of want to make a higher pass accuracy build like later on in the year because I'm whipping that bitch with 85 pass accuracy. I ain't gonna lie. Oh my god. That move was fucking tough. But yeah, man, I'm whipping that bitch with an 85 pass accuracy. And, and like, I, I'm just curious, like, how, like, that, like, vision badge like the, for the playmaking is, like, like on gold or Hall of Fame. So definitely, de definitely be on the lookout for a high pass accuracy point guard soon. Now, the defense on this build is actually pretty good. You would be surprised with that 75 primer defense, how good bronze on ball minutes is. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I'm not clamping niggas, but I ain't gonna lie. Like, I'm staying in front of people for a decent amount now. Still is the one thing I said earlier in, in the video that I regret putting up so high. I should have just went with an 85 because I don't know if y'all know they lowered the, st the re requirement for goal interceptor. Instead of an 80, 89, you need an 85. I should have went with an 85, bro, because I I put I, I, I picked 91 thinking, oh, my God, gold glove about to be crazy. I don't know if it's just me, 
or if they patch a gold glove, but man, I'm sorry, that shit sucks, bro. I'm not gonna lie, that shit is terrible. Like, usually whenever I reach it, it's a foul. Like, and I know it ain't just me. Like, now, granted, steals are always crazy in the beginning of, of the year, but I was, I was expecting, like, like I mean, it's the beginning of the year, niggas really, get, like, can't dribble for us. So, like, glove, I should be rip, rip, ripping people. I, yeah, I get ribs every now and then, but, like, nothing too crazy. So, defense is good, but if I if I could, could remake this build, 91 steals way too high. Now, physicals are pretty cut and dry, man. 90 a J Jody. A. Like, when I started moving, bro, I really think the, the J Jody got something to do with that. Seven, 73 strength gives me that um, gold strong handle. If y'all didn't watch my last video, legend strong handle was crazy. But gold, gold's pretty good, too. Like, this build is 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 a bit more, more like, not as strong. But I'm still moving smart defense. I ain't gonna, I'm still moving them now. That hop number was fucking tough. But, yeah, man, physicals really ain't nothing that crazy. So, let's get to some clips and some more gameplay. I know I might have touched on this in my pre previous video, but the more and more I'm playing this game, man, the more and more I fall in love with the dribbling. It is so much better than last year's. Like, and I know they're supposed to improve, but it, like this is just crazy, bro. Like, this is what pro play should feel like. Like last year, dribble animations, like yeah, they look real, but like in a sense, like they still looked like they were like I don't know, like they they they, they still look forced. Like this year, like like players actually dribble with freedom. I don't know, like I feel like like you can't like. Ex like explain it until you like play it yourself. I don't know, bro. Like, but dribbling this year it just feels crazy, bro. Like, like the fact that you you can do like crossovers with your, with the left stick, like that's insane, bro. Like that that shit's crazy. It just shows how how much freedom you have with the dribbling, bro. Like I just really appreciate this dribbling. So 2K definitely did, did that thing with that. Anyways, though, that's enough of, of me yapping about the dribbling, man. Let me show show y'all my a animations. Hey man, Zach Levine's step back is fucking insane. I don't, I don't know if y'all have been watching these clips so far, but my go-to move, man, is a, a crab cross, crab cross, Zach Levine step back. It gets you open 80% of the time, especially against a nigga who can't play defense, bro. Insane. Kobe escape moves also crazy. Zach, Josh Giddy crossover crazy. Like I'm just going crazy with the dribble. Like I, of course the game just came out. I still got shit, shit to learn, but I've been having really fun on this build. Now, for my shot animations, like I said earlier, Austin Reeves' layup style is, is, is really one of the best, man. Devin Booker's go-to shot, you really can combo up a lot out of that just, just off of the crossover alone. J Jalen Green, hop jumper, in my opinion, one of the best in the game. It's pr it's really quick. Like, I'll, I'll be honest, it's really, really quick. Now, right here, this pass is fucking insane, by the way. Oh, my God, the pounds pass to Wimby. Oh, so fucking tough. Um, Alex Caruso motion style. I'm not going to lie. I've been getting a lot of more steals with that, I've noticed. Now, granted, motion style matters, but it, it like it, it does, but it doesn't at the same time. Like it it matters, but it, like it's not as big of a deal as motherfuckers be, be making it, it it out. But Alex Crusoe motion style, I have noticed I've gotten a lot more steals with this motion style. So don't quote me, but this is the best one for for me that I use. Real, real quick, I'm gonna just show y'all boys my badges. That legend dead eye, man, I'm trying to tell you, is crazy. It, it bro, it, it's crazy, man. Hall of Fame set shot special is also a really good badge too. Man, these are my other badges. I wanted to talk about the takeovers real quick, man. Like, I think it's so stupid that we have to play 85 million games to get the takeover. Like, that shit to me is so dumb. Especially with 70 takeovers, bro. Like, just, I don't, I don't know. I, I feel like that, that system could definitely be better, but that's just me, though. And then this is my basic ass jump shot that most other people are using. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. I went pretty meta with the jump shot. I'll be honest. Like my other build out, yeah, but because I, because I had a point guard that was gonna be ice one out, I'm like I need a pr pretty good jump jumper that like most pe people know. So that's pretty much the six seven build, y'all. Appreciate y'all for watching. Stand uh, until to, to the end. More videos obviously coming, man. We we just get started with, with this two K shit. And yeah, man, I'm out. Peace.